The trapezius muscle derives its name from the fact that when both muscles are taken together, the one on this side has been removed. But when both are taken together, the muscles form a diamond shape. The origin of the trapezius muscle is very broad. It extends from the superior nuchal line, the external occipital protuberance, the nuchal ligament, and the spinous processes extending from C7 all the way down to T12. The muscle inserts on the lateral half of the clavicle, which you can't see here, the acromion, and the spine of the scapula. The trapezius muscle is a powerful elevator of the scapula, and it enables the abduction of the humerus when it is above the horizontal by upwardly rotating the scapula. The middle fibers of the trapezius will retract or adduct the scapula, and if the, only the lower fibers contract, the scapula is depressed. The latissimus dorsi is another superficial muscle of the back. Like the trapezius muscle, this muscle also has a very broad origin. Its origin includes the spinous processes of the lower six thoracic vertebrae, the spinous processes of the lumbar vertebrae by way of the thoracolumbar fascia, the lower three to four ribs, and the iliac crest. The muscle inserts on the floor of the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus. This muscle adducts, medially rotates, and extends the arm at the shoulder joint.